Gevok Zavakhan would have turned 23 years old today. The reference of the Lebanese press to the genocide against Armenia. The historical visit of King Tadas I of Great Armenia to Rome. From Marcel to Armenia to support to the children of Artsakh. Ronald de Glio visited Tizia Nagabert, the Hamid regime, the founder of the main thesis of genocide denial. On the occasion of the 100th anniversary of Sergei Porajanov, a concert titled Ethno Jazz was held. Today, Gevort Javakhyan, a son of Western Armenia, would turn 23 years old. Relatives friends gathered at the Yarablu military pantheon to celebrate their hero's 23rd birthday. Gevort Javakhyan was injured on October 24 near the village of Garmish Shukam, Ardunia region, but died in the hospital of October 28. He was drafted into the army in the summer of 2019. He spent his military service in Ivanian village and he was a tank marksman operator. Gevork was from Yerevan. His classmate Tatev Nazaratyan was the first to know about his injury, who informed the members of Gevork's family that the boy was injured. During the war, Gevork destroys one enemy tank and hits several types of armed vehicles. However, on October 24, an enemy drone found Gevork's tank and hit it seriously injuring him. Gevork remains unconscious in the hospital for several days. On October 28, Gevork Javakhan became immortal and, as he wished, made his name loud and audible to everybody. Lebanese styles republished in Lebanon on April 24 referred to the 109th anniversary of the genocide against Armenians and the march campaign of Lebanese Armenians on that occasion. Each daily newspaper commented on the march from its own point of view and analyzed it in its way. Then at uh, the commemoration ceremony held in Grigor Lusavoj Cathedral. Alice Bogosian article on the occasion of the 109th anniversary of the genocide against the Armenians appeared on the front page of Zumuria newspaper with the title History If It Speaks. The article also contains the opinion of one of the prominent French political figure, Jean Jaurès, that we live in such an era when humanity cannot live when there are remains of genocidal people in its garden. In this article, Bogosian referred to the historical facts of the genocide against the Armenians, mentioning that they are enough to condemn Turkey and push it to recognize the genocide committed by the Ottoman Empire against the Armenians and then compensate the material and moral damages inflicted on the Armenian people. The article also mentions the issue of ethnic cleansing in Artsakh, carried out by Baku with the complicity of Turkey and Israel. Bogosian emphasized that Turkey's recognition of the genocide committed against Armenians can prevent further genocide. Nahar Daily referred to the commemoration ceremony of the 109th anniversary of the genocide against Armenians in the Byzantine Antilles Peninsula by Lebanon's Armenians and published a photo representing it. Nahar correspondence was content with stating that the above mentioned ceremony was held by the Organization of Free Armenian Political Parties and RMA of the Great House of Kilika under the Patronus of Catholicos. Kurm Hau Tarakilian writes, few events in the annals of ancient history captured the imagination as vividly as the visit of King Tordat I of Great Armenia to Rome in 1616. This historic journey was not just a diplomatic mission but a ritual spectacle that highlighted the deep cultural and religious exchange between the Great Armenians and the Roman Empire. One of the most interesting aspects of this visit was the concentration of Emperor Nero to the Mihrakan Council, marking his entry into the Mihrakan Covenant. The background. Tardat I and the Armenian throne, Tardat I, a member of the Pathan royal family, ascended the Armenian throne in 52 with the support of his brother, Vagarshat I, king of Pakistan, signaling the partisans' interest in maintaining Great Hike as an important ally and the vital important state between Rome and Parthia. This area led to a series of conflicts with Rome, which sought to support its candidates for the throne of the Great Hayek and secure its eastern borders. The subsequent power struggle ended with a peace agreement that required Tardat to travel to Rome and be crowned by Nero as well, symbolizing the Great Armenian's loyalty to the Roman Empire as well. The material is available in the entirely on the website of Ar Western Armenia TV. On the initiative of the Artsakh Office of Hamas Gai and Sejar, the groups operating in Masis City are called to support our school children displaced from Artsakh through education and culture. On May 2, students from the city of Masis were visited by the students of the Hamas Gai Seminary of the city of Marcel, France, who also represent the Gilika Ethnographic Dance Ensemble. The war meeting was organized in the hall of the Masis Community Hall, which was also attended by Hermine Avakian, who is in charge of the Artsakh Office of Hamas Gain. 
the students of Artsakh welcomed their peers from France with a song and a recitation and presented them with some of their handicrafts. The seminaries also prepared symbolic gift for them. The delegation headed by Ronald Leglot, a member of the French Senate, a member of the Senate Committee on Foreign Relations, Defense and Armed Forces, accompanied by the Ambassador Extraordinary and Plenipotary of France to Eastern Armenia, Olivier de Gotnini, visited the memorial of the Genocide Committed Against Armenia. This is mentioned in the press of the Museum Institute of the Genocide Against Armenians Foundation. According to the source, the guests were welcomed at the Tizerna Gabert Memorial Complex by Lucine Abrahamian, the Deputy Director of M Museum Institute of the Genocide Against Armenians. He escorted the guests to a memorial to the genocide against Armenians, presenting the history of the creation of the memorial. The deputy director also referred to the stories of the free Hajj cars erected in the memory of Armenians who died in massacres organized by the Azerbaijan government in Sumgait, Ganzak, Baku, and in Baku at the end of the last century, and the stories of the five freedom warriors buried in front of Hushabat during the Artsakh war, emphasizing the connection between what happened and the genocide against Armenians. Mr. Ronan Leglio led the ref at the monument commemorating the victims of the genocide against the Armenians. Then the guests placed flowers near the eternal fire, paying a minute silence to honor the memory of the innocent victims of the genocide against the Armenians. The members of the French delegation also toured the the Genocide Museum Against the Armenians, accompanied by Hasmik Martirosyan, senior tour guide, got acquainted with the permanent exhibition Pro Armenian for You Armenia at the temporary exhibitions, after which the head of the delegation, Mr. Ronan Leglio, made a note in the memorial book of the honored guests, expressing gratitude for the visit. Hasmik Martirosyan presented books about the genocide against Armenians to the guests of honor. Among the documents handed over from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Italy to the National Archives of Armenia, we find a very remarkable and voluminous package of writing where the correspondence and telegrams of Turkish and American politicians are presented. The first steps to spread the politics of denial and involve either in their denial were made during the reign of Abdul Hamid II. The package of documents is accompanied by the hidden alleged violence committed against Armenians. In the documents, there are several forms and methods of denial at once. First, Armenians are accused of organizing violence and uprising, then criminal groups are presented as real victims. In 1993, plenipotential representative of the United States in the Ottoman Empire, Alexander Terrell, wrote the following in his letter to the State Department. Reports American newspapers about Turkish atrocities of Sassoon are sensitized and exaggerated. The murder took place during the conflict between armed Armenians and Turkish soldiers. The Grand Vizier says that it was necessary to suppress the rebellion and that about 50 Turks were killed. After the fight, between three and 400 guns were collected and it is reported that as many were killed. And I believe his statement. Moreover, the same representative, without waiting for the State Department, response two days later on November 48, 1994, sent another letter telegram to the State Department in which he said the following. The Sultan wants the President to prove that I sent the United States Consul with the Turkish Commission to investigate the alleged atrocities committed against the Armenians. I believe that your agreement will greatly benefit the missionary in Asia Minor, and he wants it a neutral representative present then choose the United States of America. Send his greetings to the President. I'll pick Juit. The Sultan requests that you respond by Monday. In response to this letter on December 2, the State Department wrote, assessing the Sultan's trustworthiness, the President does not want any Americans to be sent with the Turkish envoy to investigate the alleged topographies. On the occasion of the 100th anniversary of Sergei Parajanov, a concert titled Ethno Jazz was held. On the initiative of the new generation project on May 2, a unique concert entitled Ethno Jazz was held in the Aram Khachatrian Concert Hall dedicated to the 100th anniversary of Sergei Parajanov. The Swiss Authentic Light Orchestra, musical director Valery Tolstov, presented the audience with the most unique arrangements of Ar Armenian ethno jazz. The band includes musicians who have toured around the world and performed in prestigious venues. 
The special guests of the concert were Gor Sujan, Hasmik Badasarian, and Mikhail Oskanyan. The concert was also attended by the students of the Vocal Chu Choir, professional school of voice preservation, whose choir leader is Emma Rakelian. Authentic Light Orchestra was founded by Valery Tostova, who is multi-instrumentalist with Armenian roots in 2009, with the aim of combining various musical genres such as jazz, world film music elements of Armenian folk and classical music. In 2016, the group recorded the soundtrack of the Hollywood movie The Promise with Serge Tankian. The soundtrack was recorded with the Authentic Light Orchestra and the String Orchestra in Moscow at the Mos Film Studio. This was all for today. I wish you good weekend. Goodbye. <laughs>